beloved ones hello welcome to entering canaan my name is adiana ross and it's been a very it's been a while actually a pretty long time since i've been on this side of youtube i have just been privately in my patreon group in my prayer group and keeping to myself for a while and it was for good reason but i wanted to hop on here really quickly to just check in with you all i'm actually waiting on my dinner here and um i had a moment i had a moment and it was it was time it, it, it's time to reemerge, if you will i hope you guys have been staying abreast with my community tab posts you know the lord still speaks but he chooses to do so in seasons and all glorious to god because really this channel this work this ministry it has nothing to do with me it ain't about me it's about god uh, me being abroad and everything he has me doing abroad it, it ain't about me it's about god uh you know the victories the trials the triumphs the testimony itself y'all it's juicy it's juicy but it really there is no the only main character in this whole situation is the lord because he's been so gracious he's been so good he's been so merciful he's been so loving I, I can go on and on and on when it comes to our lord and savior jesus christ so yeah let's talk about it <laughs> i've been in this space i've been in a space where the lord really has been working with me uh you know there's a lot there's a lot that comes up against the work that the Lord has called me to do abroad. So I've been in, in, in that, you know, growing and evolving in that, being tested and tried in the fire, really. The Lord has brought me through some things. Um, he's brought me through some, <laughs> through some things, for real. He's brought me through quite a bit. And I keep hearing in my spirit, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich, maketh rich, maketh rich. The level that I've attained in terms of his richness, um, where I am now could never compare to where I started. I'm so grateful for everything I've gained in this walk. Granted, it is very difficult. Uh, it has not been easy. But again, I am richer on all levels, in all ways, um, because the Lord, because he, he is the epitome of richness. He's, he's the enemy came to steal, kill and destroy, right? But Jesus Christ came to give us life more abundantly. And I'm I've been just discovering that abundance of life. Y'all, it's a walk, and I pray that you all continue forward, no matter how it looks, no matter how trying it may get. Um, prophetically, a lot of us are coming to an inflection point where everything is beginning to emerge in a way that proves everything he said from the beginning right in a way that answers prayers that you forgot about the, pr the prayers that you prayed a long time ago that you forgot about you assumed um, were not going to come to pass you just kind of chalked it up to just whatever he ain't answering that prayer let me move on to the next thing these things are beginning to emerge uh, generational battles are beginning to surface in their victory in their triumphs um the breakthrough, the deliverance songs. Of generation old battles. Are echoing. And billowing in the distance. In the air. Um, I know that's the case for me. It's a thing to see. It's really a... And, and before you can really, the thing is, before you can really 
step forward into ministry, you often have to overcome these things. The foundational deliverance for any leader in the body is paramount to their ministry. So that's what it's been. That's what it's been, y'all. And I'm really excited. You know, this channel, Entering Canaan, is meant to be faith, family, love. So eventually, I'm going to be letting you guys in on some things as the Lord leads. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I'm excited that I don't have to be concerned about the monitoring spirits and all that. that that's the rank that we're pulling up in. Is, is you monitoring spirits, can you, what? You can monitor all you want, but you're not stopping the show. Did you see, did you see? You tried and you failed at the end of the day. That is the uh, armor. That's the armor that we are to have. It's like we're strapped up. We're, he we're we are carrying heat now <laughs> and we're ready to go. Um, glory to God. I want you guys to take a look at the links down below. I want you to get involved with what I'm doing here abroad in Tanzania. There's a honey harvesting project that we have kicked off here in Tanzania. Um, we're looking to acquire land. There's so much that we're doing. Uh, we're finalizing some things with that um, and building and construction work. So please, if you're interested, you can email me as well to learn more. Uh, but this is through my nonprofit that I brought here, Project Rose Global, um, in partnership with another local NGO. And I want you guys to, again, take some time to, to look into uh, what we're doing. And those links down below will give you an idea. Contribute what you can, sow what you can. We are ready to do the work ahead. And we don't, you know, we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. There's been opposition. A lot of the warfare that I've been engaging behind the scenes has been opposition to the rebuilding of what God has ordained, ordained through my ministry. The Lord has colossal plans in regards to what he um, is doing through all of our ministries, of course, but um, here abroad, he's got he's got some things that he's working on, and it's been opposed. It's it's the thing is the rebuilding, the building of the kingdom is always going to be opposed by um, the enemies of God. It just is what it is. It comes with the territory, um, but provisions will always be met. Okay, think about it. Look, like I'm, when I tell you, provisions will always be met. The Lord will always make a way. Uh, with the devoted and faithful servant, the one who will always seek his will. That's your heart, right? You have the heart. That's why you were chosen. You have the heart that will always seek the will of the Lord, not the will of fame, the will of money, the will of, you know, prestige, the will of how it looks on you and, and how people will perceive you. No, you, pers you are one who pursues the heart of the Lord and that's why he chose you for the work. That's why he chose me for the work. So in that pursuit of the Lord, um, we've overcome a lot and we're still fighting some things, um, but we're ready to move forward uh, without holding anything back. So if you are led, please, so uh, it would mean so much. I can't wait to take you guys on this journey. I do believe this will be where the vlogging begins. I'll take you guys on the grounds um, and show you how far we've already come uh i'll just take you on the journey with me with this with this whole honey farm honey harvesting project and the construction project y'all were building a whole it's a it's a whole thing it's a whole thing we'll get to it uh but pray about it and get involved feel free to join us over on patreon as well and the prayer group you guys i'd love to see you guys over there i you know that's where i'm spending most of my time uh, we have our prayer sessions we're going to be praying for the nations this month as well because there's a lot going on in the world we need to handle and, and address prayerfully. Um, the altar of entering Canaan is very powerful. So if you are led to join, it would mean so much. Uh, not only for, for just, you know, us as a, as a body, but, you know, it's going to have an impact. So you want to make sure that you are meant to be there because we do screen and we do all that just to make sure that 
people who are there are meant to be there and so on and so forth. We've come a long way. We, we've learned some things, okay? We're veterans in the game. We don't just let anyone kind of come through and, 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 and do whatever anymore, not anymore. In Jesus' name. All right. I love you all so much. I'll check in with you very soon. Why?